Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weather Man Plus. Good morning to you, good day to you, whatever time you look at this video. Hope you have a great Friday today. God bless every single one of you. I do appreciate you for checking me out this morning. Uh, we have a big event. Now, as far as uh, Friday comes, really Thursday evening by Friday, because by Wednesday, everybody's going to be feeling all this snow, all this ice from the storm. But by Thursday and Friday, also get in on some snowfall for North Carolina as well. So let me go through and show you exactly what the totals are going to be for the snow and for the ice. Now, literally in 48 hours, the snowfall is going to begin for South Dakota, for Nebraska, uh, southern Minnesota. That's going to be in 48 hours when it's going to start. Now, by the time it passes by uh, southern Minnesota and goes to Wisconsin on the 25th of January, there will be a heavy amount of snowfall already for Minnesota. And we're talking anywhere from three inches plus around Minneapolis, Brookings, Mankato, St. Cloud. That's going to be the heaviest amount by the 25th. When we get into the 26th, which is Tuesday, it's going to have heavy snowfall already going across Kansas, uh, eastern, southeastern Nebraska, also southern Iowa, northern Missouri. There's going to already be some heavy snowfall already coming down by Tuesday. Now, by Tuesday evening, it's going to spread all across the whole central U.S., across Illinois, Indiana, northern Indiana, and Ohio as well. But Pennsylvania is already going to be getting on some, some snow amounts come Tuesday evening. And by Tuesday evening, the heaviest amounts for Iowa will be around 15 inches for Maryville, all the way over towards Davenport. This whole area is going to be covered in over a foot of snow. And by Wednesday, everybody should see some good snowfall amounts, with the heaviest still being in Iowa. And we also have for, for northern Illinois... You can see the heaviness going all the way towards Davenport. And once you get into northern Illinois, Kankakee, almost 8 inches. Galesburg, over 8 inches. And then when you get to uh, Indiana, it's going to be South Bend. It's almost 8 inches. Fort Wayne, uh, low over 6 inches. And also in Ohio, you got Sturgis at over 8 inches. Toledo, you're going to be almost 8 inches. Bowling Green and Fort Wayne, over 6 inches. Now, when you get into Pennsylvania, you can see that St. Mary's is over four inches with Altoona, almost six inches of snowfall by Thursday. That's a lot of snowfall by Wednesday, sorry. And then Jamestown, New York, you can see here in southern New York, over six inches, seven inches of snowfall for them as well. And it's not just Jamestown. You can see northern New York, also in Watertown. By Thursday, you're going to have almost two inches of uh, Syracuse, over three inches. Uh, Almira, over four inches. It's going to be some heavy amounts of snowfall for New York as well. Now, it's almost stretching over towards Connecticut. you you got literally Waterbury, a little over an uh, inch, and Bridgeport, uh, over an inch. But you can see that New York City, you're going to have about three inches of snowfall. That's a good amount of snowfall. And then by late Thursday, you get into more snowfall. Some of it getting into a little bit of South Carolina, but most of the heaviness is going to be in North Carolina. And with the heaviest amounts being anywhere from Hickory for over two inches to Greensboro to almost three inches of snowfall. And Greenville, North Carolina, you're going to get into about three inches as well with Rally as well. Uh, Asheville, you're not going to get too much. You're going to get almost an inch. That's not a whole bunch. But some of it does leak down towards South Carolina. It's a little inch or two. Uh, started in the northwest from Washington to Oregon. Uh, you have you have your uh, Idaho. You also got your Montana, your western Montana snowfall. Uh, Wyoming is getting in on some good amount of snowfall. Uh, pretty heavy, over 15 inches of snowfall, mainly for the higher elevations. But that is some really good snowfall. Also, you got Wyoming that's getting some snowfall as well. Uh, almost 15 inches also. You got Utah, almost 15 inches also. And you got Nevada. Nevada is getting over over a foot of snow, except for the higher elevations. It's just a crazy, crazy amount. And then, of course, you got Northern California, uh, almost 20 inches uh, before the, the highest elevations, which is crazy enough. It's 52 inches at the highest elevations by then. You got Nevada, almost a foot. Some places a little over a foot, up to 15 inches for Nevada, 17 inches in some spots. That's some heavy amount of snowfall. 
Also, you have Arizona. Arizona has over 32 inches of snowfall. Higher elevations, but on the ground is 5, 7 to 10 inches, which is some great snowfall. And by Friday, you see what you have for Kansas. I mean, northeast Kansas has almost 17 inches. Southeast Nebraska, that's a big winter over here. It's almost 20 inches for southeast Nebraska. And southwest uh, Iowa, also northwest uh, Missouri, heavy, heavy snowfall amounts. Y'all getting some really good snow. And you can see the good, heavy stretch of heavy snowfall going anywhere from uh, Illinois all the way across Indiana, northwest uh, Ohio is getting into over six inches, almost seven inches snowfall, and very southern Michigan getting into some good snowfall. I mean, you're talking all the way down to Kalamazoo, over five inches, Jackson, over five inches, even Detroit. Detroit's getting over four inches of snowfall. That's a good thing for Detroit. I've been hearing people say they've been waiting for snow over there, and, and they've been kind of down, but you look like you definitely going to have it. Even your big cities like Gary, Indiana, or Chicago, Illinois, Chicago, you're going to get almost 10 inches of snowfall by Friday. That is a crazy amount of snowfall for Chicago. And you also got South Bend, Indiana, you're going to get almost 8 inches. And even Indianapolis is going to get a little over an inch. And the, the ice, the ice is literally going to start building up uh, for, for northeast Kansas, also for uh, southwest uh, Missouri, you're going to be starting to get uh, ice already, uh, accumulated freezing rain and ice uh, come Monday the 25th. It's already going to start for you. And by Tuesday, it's going to go all across Illinois. Uh, it's it's going to be some heavy amounts and start making its way over Indiana, even southern Illinois, getting in on some, some ice and freezing rain. And by Tuesday evening, it's going to be over in uh, Indiana. It's going to be over uh, Ohio. Also, southern uh, Pennsylvania and uh, northern uh, Virginia and eastern West Virginia. And by Tuesday evening, the heaviest amounts will already be down for the ice. With the total amounts all the way from Kansas going from anywhere from half an inch, almost right below Manhattan, close to Topeka, almost a half an inch of ice. Uh, even St. Joseph's is going to get a third of an inch. Now, when you get to Missouri, you can see it's still going to be a half an inch of ice throughout this whole area. All the way, uh, it's going to be above Columbia. So, so Columbia, you will not see it, Columbia, Missouri. It will go all straight across from Kansas, straight across to Indiana. And then we're talking half an inch of ice. That is a lot of ice. Now, Chicago, you're not going to be getting any of the ice storm. You're going to be getting the snow. But right below you, literally, Peoria, Illinois, you're going to be getting a third of an inch of ice. That's a lot of ice as well. And the ice also goes into Indiana, uh, right, right, right above Muncie. You're going to be getting a third of an inch. And then it goes also into Ohio as well. And in the corner of West Virginia, Maryland, uh, getting towards Delaware. But Maryland and Pennsylvania, this is where your heaviest amount of uh, ice is going to be by Wednesday. And it looks like it's close to Cumberland, but it looks like it's over six uh, tenths of an inch. And we're talking three quarters of an inch of ice. That is a lot of ice. That is going to be power outages. That's going to be a big problem. And literally, it's going to start on Monday, the January 25th. It's going to go up over, over Texas. It's going to go over Oklahoma. And it's going to make its way towards uh, Arkansas, Missouri, also Kansas by the time you get into Monday. And when you get into Tuesday, that's when it starts getting over Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, and Tennessee as well. So the south side will have some precipitation, but the freezing rain and the snow will be on the north side. And it will stretch all the way over to Ohio by Tuesday evening. But once you get into Tuesday evening, going into to Wednesday, you can see that this high pressure blockage, it don't fully connect with the low pressure system, the 50-50 on the northeast, but it does do enough to where it does drop some snowfall in the northeast, but it makes it go all the way down uh, by the end of the day, Tuesday, and it don't go all the way to the far north northeast. Even though they will get some snow, it's not as heavy as it could be. It does stay a little more on the southern track. So in a sense, it went northern according to the euro, but in the end, it did do what the GFS said. It will be coming out around the Carolinas and Virginia. 
Now, Monday, Monday, January 25th, it's pretty much going to be a big day. You can see the low pressure system starting over Texas and working its way towards Oklahoma. But you're also getting snowfall. You're also getting freezing rain uh, for Kansas. But you're also going to get some severe weather going across uh, Arkansas, also Mississippi, and northern Alabama. And as the day goes through, you get some snowfall and some freezing rain also uh, for, Il for uh, Iowa. Also, for you get some, some rain for uh, Illinois. It's not really yet for the snow. This is just Monday. But you can see the storm system also coming up for Indiana and Ohio as well. And you can see that real good on the Cape Valley. You, you can see this warm air coming all the way up across the central U.S. going towards the northeast. And by Tuesday, you're going to be getting some freezing rain uh, on the lower side of North North Carolina. Uh, uh, North Virginia and also for some southern Delaware and Maryland you're gonna be getting some ice and some snow and by Tuesday evening it breaks off into two different low pressures one leaves out towards the east coast and the other one is still sitting there spinning right over uh, Ohio and Indiana and this is why it's putting heavy precipitation heavy snowfall north of the systems that's why Chicago is getting almost 10 inches of snowfall and for the south side of this low pressure system, I believe it's Winter Storm Nathaniel, whatever they call it, you're going to have some heavy rainfall for the south side. And they're getting ice and they're getting uh, snow for the north, but the south side is going to get some freezing rain. And this is starting literally today, guys. Uh, the freezing rain is already going to be starting with over an inch of rainfall for Louisiana and Mississippi. And by, t and by this afternoon, late night, it's going to pass all the way through with the first system for the rainfall. With the heavy amounts uh, being central U.S., right below Alexandria, we're talking over two inches of rainfall will be possible for you. And for Mississippi, you're talking Hattiesburg, over two inches of rainfall. This is going to cause some flash flooding. You'll need to be aware of this. Also, right above Mobile, uh, below Monroeville, Monroeville is going to get almost two inches, but right above Mobile, Alabama, you're going to get over three inches of rainfall from this system. And this is only by, by today, by this afternoon. And then the second system that does come up over Texas, like I showed you, and it does start putting the ice for Kansas, Missouri, uh, Nebraska, uh, Iowa, and snowfall for the north. The, the rain will start uh, for the south also. You be, Louisiana already has the heavy amounts that it just got. Uh, but when you've got Arkansas, and you also got uh, Missouri. I'm sorry, not Missouri. Mississippi also going to be getting on this. And Tennessee by the 25th, by Monday. There's going to be the second rainfall event that you're going to have in the south. And by the end of the day, Monday, you're going to have heavy, heavy precipitation all over Arkansas and western Tennessee as well. And by Tuesday, you get the heavy precipitation. It's going to be all across. It's going to be for anywhere from Oklahoma all the way to Arkansas, all the way to Tennessee, even all the way to Kentucky. It's going to see heavy rainfall from this event. And you can see northeast Texas and Oklahoma, you're going to get three inches of rainfall right, by, right below McAllister. This is going to be a lot of rainfall. This is going to be flash flooding for sure. And Arkansas is going to be heavy all the way from uh, even Little Rock is going to get two. But from Fort Smith all the way to Jonesboro is going to be over two inches of rainfall. And for Tennessee and Kentucky, you can see the rainfall goes all the way across. Uh, it's right above Jackson. Jackson, you're going to get an inch. Uh, but all the way to Clarksville is going to get over two inches of rainfall and three inches in the far northwest of Tennessee. That is heavy rainfall. And then for central Kentucky, over two inches, right below Elizabethtown, right above Somerset, is going to be the big hot spot for the rainfall. And in 48 hours, you can see the dew points coming in from the Gulf of Mexico, from Texas, and they are in the 60s, the high 60s, guys. And this is a lot of dew points, a lot of warm air. And as it goes from Sunday all the way into to Monday, you can see these dew points carry across Louisiana, Mississippi, southern Alabama. And then it starts stretching out when you go from Monday into Tuesday. And it goes all the way from Tennessee, reaches all the way up to Kentucky, and it puts everybody in southern Ohio, uh, Illinois, and Indiana in the high 30s. And that's why you're going to be seeing a lot of that uh, freezing rain, that, that ice storm they're talking about. That's, what you, that's why you're going to see that. you got these dew points, very high dew points. And by Tuesday, it's just covering 
everybody that's supposed to be getting heavy snowfall. Now, instead of heavy snowfall, you're going to get snow in the north of it, but you're going to get some very uh, accumulated ice that's going to come out of this because of these dew points reaching way up uh, to the to the north, to the Midwest. And it's putting everybody in, in at least the, the high to the mid-30s where it will not be snow. And that's our storm, guys. It's going to be a, a big weather event. It's going to be a lot of ice. It's going to be a lot of snow. We've even got the tornado threat that's coming for Texas. And we have all the precipitation and the flash flooding that can happen in the south. So do me a favor. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button. I do appreciate it. And remember, it is Friday, guys. So I will put out a video later on before I celebrate my Sabbath, which starts at 6 p.m. my time. So I will put a video out before then. But remember, there won't be no video for tomorrow because I do not work on the Sabbath. Amen. Now, I'd like to pray for y'all and praise our God because it is a lovely Friday. I hope everybody has a beautiful day today. God bless every single one of you. I do appreciate y'all for supporting my channel. Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he hath heard my voice and my supplications. Because he hath inclined his ear unto me. Therefore will I call upon him as long as I live. The sorrows of death compassed me and the pains of hell Get hold upon me. I found trouble and sorrow. Then called I upon the name of the, of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord, and righteous, and righteous. Yea, our God is merciful. The Lord preserveth the simple. I was brought low, and he helped me. Return unto thy rest, O my soul, for the Lord hath dealt bountifully with thee. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, mine eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed, therefore have I spoken. I was greatly afflicted. I said in my haste, All men are liars. What shall I render unto the Lord for all his benefits towards me? I will take the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, truly I am thy servant. I am thy servant and the son of thine handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds. I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and will call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows unto the Lord now in the presence of of all his people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of the O Jerusalem, praise ye the Lord. Amen. God bless you all today. Hope you have a very safe and a very fun night. If for those that go anywhere, I don't I don't leave anymore ever since everything started with this COVID thing. We kind of been home and barely going outside for almost a year now. So it's, it's been kind of crazy. But anyway, you'll have a great Friday night. I do appreciate you. Hit that subscribe button if you've never been here before. I do upload every day but the Sabbath. All glory does go to God. Amen.